Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over my bug out bag. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to do this and recently I've been in the process of changing out the smaller one that I've had for a while and going to this bigger bag that we got uh, from the members of the group that, that pitched in together to get this for us to say thank you. Uh, thank you to them. So uh, this is the Yukon out Outfitters Alpha Pack, the, the whole kit, and I'll go through everything that's in here. but. Um, really neat bag so I wanted to try it out and all of that uh, first off I want to mention that in there's a lot of stuff in here and my my bug out bag and everybody's bug out probably bug out bag probably uh, changes over time so this might not have everything and honestly there might not be as much in this um, in a year from now than there is right now too just depends this right now weighs about 21 pounds which isn't bad, but I'm used to hiking, not with anywhere near this amount of weight. My bag when I go hiking is probably between five and 10 pounds. But as you go lower, there's not, there's not as big a difference when you go lower in weight than when you go higher. So if this were 10 pounds, uh, there wouldn't be much difference as far as, as fatigue and all that. But where if this was 30 pounds, there would be a, a noticeable difference. So uh, we'll see, I'm gonna test this out. I've tested this out a little bit but you really don't get a good idea with just a mile or two hike. You're, you're going to be doing a lot more of that each day. So uh, this is going to be kind of a long video, so I want to get started on this. But I also have a list of everything that we're going to go through just in case I miss anything at the website, survivalsprepper.net, and I'll leave a link below. Uh, first off on this, I've got my Rat 5 knife, which uh, is made by the Ontario Knife Company. Uh, they used to be with the people that make the SE knives. So this knife looks pretty much like an SE4. Uh, I, it's got a micarta handle. I really like the knife. Uh, this cost me about 75 bucks. In this, I also have a mag bar and a little kit right here that's got some fishing stuff, uh, hooks, line sinkers, even some matches, stuff like that. Just a little survival thing. Uh, so that's that right there on the and this will be with me no matter what if i change everything out this is still coming with me this side i've got the the berkey sport which has got the filter inside uh this i you know i'm, I'm debating on whether this is going to continue to go with me or not um, i've got the this bag right here comes with the hydration bladder that goes back here in this pocket back here uh, and i've also got the sawyer mini with another platypus water bag so uh, I do like the idea of having a container uh, but and it, because it's so light and it hangs on the outside not a huge deal to me now as long as I'm going through this bag the quality of the bag is is pretty good actually uh, compared to a lot of bags it feels the same what I want to do is over the next year I want to take this hiking with me anytime I go and put it really put it through some wear and tear uh, if I have to replace the bag say I like it after a year or so but it's starting to uh, wear down then I, I can replace it this whole kit uh, if you look for deals on Woot as far as the Yukon Outfitters kit you can get it for a hundred dollars so usually they're about 150 I think but uh, also on this bag I like the fact that the back is padded right here it really does make a difference when you're hiking and these are padded although they could be a little bit more padded not bad uh, all of the the bag is Molly compatible it's got a lot of different pouches and stuff and you'll see as I do go through this stuff but a really good bag uh, I like it quite a bit so let's go through some of the stuff that I've got in here and I'll just we'll go through the front first this first pouch I've got um, first off I've got my goal zero which has got the switch 8 charger in here and this is because I, I carry my ham radio I've got flashlights and and a battery charger for stuff that if I need to charge anything I can hook this on with one of these carabiners just on the back of the pack or something, tie it on with some paracord uh, and have that charge the battery during the day. I'm going to try to keep all this up in camera too, so we'll see, but uh, I have a tactical pen here. This is the Uzi tactical pen. Uh, with that, I've got some waterproof paper just in case, uh, you know, you need to leave a note, you need to write a note. Uh, coordinates anything like that and then it's not going to if it rains or something it's not going to get damaged in here I've got the knife that came with this the Yukon Outfitters bag uh, decent knife I think it's 440 stainless steel not the greatest in the world but I figured since it came with the bag I would put it in here pretty sharp uh, 
and pretty decent knife. I've also got a P38 can opener, a ball compass. I probably got about three or four compasses. Uh, this, it, these smaller ones I use for general direction. I'm not going to do any, any major orienteering or anything like that with them. Uh, I've also got some super glue for a few different uses. Uh, it could be used to close a wound. Uh, it's just some stuff that one of those, if you don't have it and you need it, you wish you had it type things. Uh, in here, I've got some wet ones, and these are basically um, sanitation wipes uh, it, for, you know, for cleaning up. They can actually be used to clean wounds and stuff like that as well. So that's, you know, just something that you wish you had if you didn't have it. I've also got this Suntu compass that I use. This is a really nice compass that I actually do use for orienteering. So this is uh, something that I can really depend on as far as uh, navigation and everything. So I do have a good compass along with, even on this little paracord bracelet, it's got a little compass, here's a compass, but this is the main one that I'll be using. Uh, what else do we have in here? got a couple extra batteries down here double A's triple A's I've got this Cree flashlight that is one of the cheaper ones but it's not a bad flashlight so I figured I would put it in here it takes one battery uh, so not bad at all this is something um, I, I do have the, the flashlight in here from this bag and it's something that I will be upgrading in the future but right now that's that's what I have in this pouch right here I've got a couple of bandanas I've got this bandana with a couple of safety pins on it and this bandana is one that I kind of like because it gives you, it's got a lot of survival information on it, building fire, building shelter, just kind of reminders of what you can uh, and maybe what you should do at a certain point, signaling, water, uh, all of that different stuff. So that's kind of nice. It can be used as a head wrap, uh, all, you know, filtering water, all that stuff. And then I've got this regular bandana, which is kind of the same thing, just without all the, the different stuff on there. Uh, I've also got a sharpening stone for the knife here. I don't carry the oil, but you can just add a little bit of water to this and then at a, like a 20 degree angle, you can sharpen your blade. Uh, one thing that, while I'm on the knife, one thing that I'm debating is, I've got this, this hatchet right here, and I'm debating on whether I want to get one of the silky folding saws. Uh, because this is kind of awkward, it's a little bit heavy, and talking to a few friends, they've talked about how useful the folding saw is, and it would almost replace something like this. It's straight and flat, uh, whereas this is a little bit awkward. I suppose I could put it on the outside somewhere, but it is, it is a little bit heavy. Okay, so also in this pouch, I've got some I got the, the TAC bar pack, which comes with five TAC bars, a little survival tin, and the H2O, ta H2O tabs. So I put these in my kit, along with the TAC bars, along with the survival kit uh, in here as well. Uh, also, I have a little credit card folding knife, which if you guys have ever used one of these, not the greatest thing in the world. I'll open this one up for you. Uh, but basically, you just bring that that way, and then... How do you do this? Fold it like that and then you've got a blade. Uh, not very durable, but in a pinch it's going to help you out. And I think this is stainless steel as well. Pretty sharp right now. I don't know how long that would last though. But anyway, that's that. Uh, I've also got some coffee in here. Uh, some instant coffee packs. Uh, just because it'd be a little bit better than water. Maybe you need a little pick-me-up after you've been walking all day. I've got some multivitamins. And I've also got a forensal lens. I like to have a bunch of different ways to start fires and all that. So uh, this is just something that's really thin. Same with the credit card knife. Something that's really thin, really lightweight, and one of those you might as well have it. Um, now let's go to the main compartment here. Well, actually, let's go a couple of these side compartments. It does have a couple on the side. And what I've got is my ham radio, and it also has the the battery this is a battery extension I also have the battery that goes on here that you can keep charged but as far as using it I, I'm gonna put this external battery pack on it and it has six AA batteries that I can recharge if need be uh, in yeah still working good um, I also have a Nagoya antenna that is in the back here I'll show you in a minute that goes on this as well 
uh, in here. Yeah, here's the other battery. And that is basically this side. On this side here, I also have just a few carabiners. I've got this carabiner that's, um, I believe it's up to like 2,000 pounds, where these I think are only rated at, uh, this says here, 60 pounds, uh, not for climbing. So this one actually, God forbid I ever need to do any climbing, because I'd probably die anyway, but uh, these are, are good for holding stuff up. Maybe I had to climb up a tree or something, I don't know. Uh, but I have a couple of these really strong ones. In this pack, or in this side pocket right here, I have some duct tape, the, a little roll of duct tape. I've got a P38 can opener and this uh, little keychain thing, which I'll probably add more stuff to. Uh, some waterproof matches. Uh, always, you can never have enough fire starting stuff. And then I guess we'll go to the main compartment now. Well, actually, we'll do that again. I want to show you the back. Back here is the water bladder, and I'm not really going to carry any water. You know, if I get a chance before I go anywhere, I will, you know, maybe I'll fill this up a little bit, but water is really heavy, so I'm not sure how much I want to carry, but this is kind of one of the, the selling points for me why I decided to change the bag out, because if I do ever come across water, uh, here's the, the antenna too, if I do ever come across water, this is nice and convenient, it just goes right in the back there, it fits along the back, it's not going to, you know, go to the bottom, it's not going to spill all over everything, and then you got the, the drinking hose right here. So um, I like the fact that that's there. Whether I use it or not, um, different story. I'm sure I, I will at some point, but it's there and that's what I like. Inside the pack here is where the main stuff is. There's quite a bit of stuff in here, so I'm gonna try to go through this real quick. Uh, I've got some wool socks and I also have some boxers that I put in there too. I don't carry a lot of clothes because Basically, I'm, I don't go anywhere without my truck, really, So, and I've got a lot of stuff in my truck, uh, some over, Carhartt overall, stuff like that, uh, that I can use if need be. Uh, it comes with this Yukon Outfitters kit, which can actually be fastened to the outside of the bag if you need more room inside. Um, I debated on whether I was going to keep this in here or not. Um, what I did was added a few of my own things. I mean, it's got a poncho, it's got some band-aids and all of that, but I also added some some stuff that I thought I needed. And it's, they say it's a medical kit, but it's not really, you know, it's not really a medical kit because it's got some other stuff in it as well. It's got, you know, fire starting stuff. It's got the whistle and the compass and all of that. Uh, but it does, it's got some hooks and sinkers. It's got a, a chain uh, saw, not a chainsaw, but a chain saw, uh, a little sewing kit, a lot of different stuff in here. So I decided to keep this and even another uh, striker, some bandages. So I decided to keep this in here because one, it can be attached to the outside and it's just a, a good little kit. It's got a bunch of extra stuff and it doesn't weigh that much. As far as the, the medical stuff though, um, I do have my bug out bag first aid kit. I don't have a lot of trauma supplies. I mean, I do have the TK4 tourniquet, but this has basically anything I need for some minor injuries and stuff. It's got, uh, uh, pain reliever, it's got Advil, it's got antibacterial stuff, it's got hand sanitizer, it's got gloves, ace wrap, all of that different stuff that I would need. And this is also a waterproof bag, so if I use some of this stuff, um, this would be useful and it wouldn't get wet or if something happens. So, uh, like I said, I've got the tack bar. Um, this is the, the emergency kit, and I'm not gonna open this right now, but you can head to tack bar and see what exactly is in this kit. It's, it's basically the survival tin. Uh, that everybody kind of has out there. So I decided, hey, it was pre-made, I'm gonna put it in there. Uh, I also have the RZ masks, and, and this is because you can't really, it, I guess you could, the N95 masks and stuff, it's, when you put them in a bag, they're gonna get crunched up and, and everything. And these come with the two filters and they lay flat. Uh, these are, I think they're about 30 bucks, but they're really good masks. And I actually have one of these that I use around the house and I use it for a lot of stuff when I'm cleaning in the barn or anything, painting, you can, I mean, people use them for ATVs, all that. So it's just a really good mask. It lays flat, it's nice and lightweight. Uh, really co cool to have, I think. And then I bought this tack light that uh, you've probably seen the as seen on TV things. And it's not the, it's not the worst flashlight in the world, but it's not the best flashlight in the world. Uh, it seems like it's pretty heavy duty. I haven't tried it enough to know how long it lasts. 
Uh, the commercials make it seem like it, it would light up the neighborhood. That's not necessarily true, but it's a decent flashlight. Uh, I also have these Mechanics Impact gloves, and these were a little bit more expensive than the regular Mechanics gloves, but they, they're more heavy duty, and I like these. Uh, I've heard a couple people saying that, you know, don't get these, get the leather gloves because if you're playing with fire and stuff, they're, they're less likely to start on fire, which is a good point, but I already have these, so <laughs> this is what I have. Uh, also, I have a, a, a tin with some fishing line and stuff in there, but this is for char cloth. It's got the little hole on top, and you put some cotton in here and heat this on a fire, keep it closed, and it will burn that that cotton to the point where it ignites a lot easier. You can look up some videos about char cloth too if you don't not quite sure of that. Uh, I've got some maps here of Colorado in a waterproof pouch. I've got Titan Paracord, which this is about 50 feet, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep 50 feet in here. What I really like about this stuff, and also I'll leave a link to this in the, in the notes for what I have on this, I'll leave a link to all this stuff, but it's got jute twine, it's got, um, some copper wire for snares and stuff like that. Really neat stuff. Uh, so I've got some of this in there. And then also I've got just this container. I bought the, the Stolva uh, mess kit and all I want is just one container because I don't want the whole kit taking up a lot of room here. Um, I want the spork. Uh, a lot of people have the titanium spork. Me, I'm, you know, I'm okay with this. If this is a three-day bag, it's, you know, not too concerned about that. But I did want something that, if need be, I could cook with. Also, I have this crank radio that I just did a, a review on, and I like this a lot because it can be used. I mean, it can be a flashlight, it can be a radio. If, if there's FM stations, you can listen to those too. But it's also a battery charger, and it can be cranked or it can be solar. Uh, the solar doesn't work all that great. But the crank, it's just, it depends on how much you want to put into it. Uh, then this is the flashlight that comes with the, the Yukon Outfitters bag. And this is uh, a decent flashlight, but again, it's kind of the same as this one. Uh, and I just noticed I have the batteries out of this one. These I have, these are, to I, I call them toilet paper tablets, but what they are is just towels. Once you put a couple drops of water on them, then they go out to full-size towel. Uh, probably about that big and can be used for toilet paper can be used for cleaning up all sorts of different stuff so I have these in there um, another Altoids tin and what this has in it is the the caps perimeter security alarm and I'll open this up and show you uh, because if I'm in a situation and in a bug out situation I want to know what's going on around me as much as possible so with something like this um, that would alert me if I, you can set the uh, fishing line up basically from point A to point B, and if somebody trips that, it's gonna go off. So uh, I like that because I wanna know what's, what's going on around me, and even just that, that sense of security basically. Uh, also, I've got some tack bar food rations. This is one day's worth. I'm debating on whether I'm gonna put one or two in here. Really depends on how much room I have. Right now, there's one in here. And this right here is the, the battery charger that I just did a review on as well. Uh, and this, you, I can basically plug my Goal Zero Switch 8 into this and I can use that to transfer the energy from that battery to other batteries for say flashlights for my ham radio, stuff like that. Um, there are a few different options that I've also looked into that so that might change in the future. This one just might stay home, but that all depends too. Now the last couple of things and we'll get into the fire starting stuff. I got this little lighter here too that should be with the fire starting stuff. I've got the Yukon Outfitters Rainfly and this is a basically a tarp and the reason I decided on this is because it's a little bit lighter. It's a lot lighter than a really good tarp. Uh, it's more compact. My only issue is that if, if I have to have it close to a fire or anything, I don't know how fire resistant this is going to be so I've got to be careful with that. Uh, but I do like the weight. Uh, another thing is the, I've got this Rothko uh, rain, rain poncho, this really nice poncho, really thick, um, but it's kind of heavy. So this is another one I'm debating. Plus there's a poncho in here too, one of the little cheap ones, but there's another poncho. So I'm debating on whether this stays in here or not. We'll, we'll just have to see. Um, also on this, over here on this side, I've got my Sawyer Mini with the platypus bag. Uh, the Sawyer Mini in here, I've got a tube that sets up where I can use one of these as a dirty bag and one as a clean bag so I can filter that water through to this bag 
and hold on to that. Uh, not sure if this is going to stay because I have the the water bladder back here, so we'll see how that goes. But the Sawyer Mini is definitely going to stay. And then down here, I've just got some gauze rolls, some curlet curlet gauze, uh, a couple of different rolls, and then some moleskin as well because. The last thing I want is for, to be walking and have blisters and stuff like that. That would really suck. So um, I've also got my Morel hiking boots. Uh, really important to have a good pair of hiking boots because if you have a bad pair of shoes uh, and you start walking a lot, you're going to know that you've got a bad pair of shoes. So, And then finally in here, I've got all my fire making stuff. And in here, make sure I've got everything. I've got a couple of lighters, so I've got three lighters. I've got matches in a couple of different spots. Um, I've got a couple of different mag bars. I've got this mag bar plus the one in my knife itself. Uh, I've got this ferro rod with this striker, and I've read some pretty good reviews on this, uh, this, this large one right here. So we'll see. This is pretty heavy, though, and I do have these other ones that, that work just fine. So we'll see if this ends up staying in there or not. Um, and I also have, these are called ugly sticks that I found out about a couple months ago. I've done a video on these, but they're, they're basically waxed jute twine, uh, and they, they work really well if you just take them with a striker like so, put them on the end of your striker and then just strike that. And it kind of works like a, a, a match basically. And they work pretty well. So, um, I've also got some cotton, cotton in one of the kits as well. So. That's basically it on the, on what's in my bug out bag. Like I said, this is subject to change over the next year. I might be adding stuff. I might be taking stuff out. Probably be doing a little bit of both. Um, I want to see this is basically as full as I wanted to get it. And then I want to test this out and see what it's going to be like. Uh, and if it's just something that I'm just going to end up tossing stuff out of my bags three or four miles down the road, then I'm not even going to put it in there. So. I'm gonna test this out over the next year. Like I said, I went from my smaller bag, which was really easy to carry stuff, to this larger one, which is probably a third more weight. I mean, I'm sure that last one was probably 10, 15 pounds, but uh, we'll see how this one works out. But if you have any questions or comments, you can leave a, a comment below this video, or you can go to the website, check out the whole list that I have here. I've even got a PDF that you can download. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you would add. Let me know what you take away. Uh, all of that stuff. So appreciate everyone and we will talk to you later.